Welcome back to the party. This is another Hololive video. This can still be classified as a reaction, depending on how you classify reactions. But regardless, we're going to be using ChatGPT to create Hololive fan fictions for us. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it is an AI text generator that will have, if we give it a prompt, it will give us something back. You could ask it basically literally anything. I, you probably don't even have to ask it something. You can just tell it something and it'll, it'll do it. It has vast knowledge of probably the internet. I don't actually know fully how it works. I'm assuming it's taking information from the internet and having an AI software learning from the internet. Probably not a good thing. It's fine. Probably. But either way, we're going to have it create Hollow Life fan fiction for us because what, what else? could we possibly have this extremely advanced technology do besides make fan fiction for us degenerates. So let's get started with that. As a very quick example of what we can actually do with ChatGPT, I asked, I literally typed this in, what can you do for me? And see what kind of stuff it will put out. And as it said is, as an AI language model, I can assist you with a wide range of tasks, including answering your questions. Very basic. I'm just going to read the top things. Providing information, writing assistance, language translation, personal assistance, uh, entertainment. Oh, entertainment. I can tell you jokes, stories, and even play games with you. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to ask, tell me a joke. Sure, here's a joke for you. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. What? <laughs> That's not a joke. Wait. Why did the tomato... Is this like five head and I don't understand it? Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Oh, I get it. The salad was dressing. I get it now. I was thinking maybe too literal and I just didn't put the joke together. That's completely fine. The fucking the AI outsmarted me. It took me far too long to actually figure that out. That's fine. So that's something you can do with ChatGPT. But we're, today we're going to make Hololive fan fiction. I also have an assistant here, not a real person. I have a text-to-speech thing brought up, natural text reader. So whatever uh, ChatGPT spits out, I am going to put it to the text-to-speech uh, and the natural reader so we can sit here and listen to it so I don't have to st stumble over my own words. I'm going to ask the simple question, create a... Hollow Live fan fiction. Go. First thing it's telling me. I'm sorry, but I cannot create an inappropriate or explicit content, including fan fiction. Is there anything else you can assist you with? Obviously, the first thing here is that ChatGPT thinks fan fiction has to be inappropriate or explicit. I didn't think that would necessarily be the case. I heard that you can get it to do what you want if you phrase it correctly. So I'm going to have to make it so it's not inappropriate. Can I do like create a safe... <laughs> for work, hollow life, fan fiction. Let's see if that works. Certainly, and here's, here's a Hollow Life fan fiction for you. Title, Hollow Life Cafe. Okay, now you see that it's actually putting out all of the information all at once. It's writing this entire story and it's several paragraphs long. Okay, so that's the whole thing. It's, it's basically a short story. So let's put this all together in the text to speech and have it read it out to us and see what kind of fan fiction that this spit out. Certainly, here's a Hollow Life fan fiction for you. Hollow Life? Title, Hollow Life Cafe. It was a warm and sunny day in Tokyo, and the Hololive members decided to meet up at a cafe for a relaxing afternoon. I don't know why it's saying Hololive. <laughs> and live instead of live. I guess it, does, it might not understand the difference between similar words. They were all excited to see each other again, as they had been busy with their own schedules. Accurate. That's accurate. As they arrived at the cafe, they were greeted by the aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the sound of soft jazz music Ooh. playing in the background. That sounds like a nice cafe that I want to go to. The cafe was decorated with elegant wooden furniture, I'm and the walls were adorned with paintings of famous landmarks from around the world. This sounds like a very cozy cafe that I'm absolutely down for. Elegant wooden furniture and walls adorned with paintings of famous landmarks from all around the world. This this fan fiction about Hololive very quickly became about the cafe and not Hololive. Also, where did it pull cafe from? I don't know. Maybe because like Hololive is Japan and like Japanese cafes and stuff like that. And then it pulled that again. I don't know. I don't know where it's pulling its information from. The cafe was decorated with elegant wooden furniture and the walls were adorned with paintings of famous landmarks from around the world. The Hololive members found a cozy Hololive. booth by the window and ordered their favorite drinks and snacks. 
They as chatted the and caught up with each other, sharing stories about their recent experiences and adventures. Okay. Suddenly, a group of fans ooh, recognized ooh. them and asked for photos and autographs. The Hololive members happily obliged, taking pictures and signing autographs for their fans. I was actually expecting some twist to happen here. Like, so suddenly, suddenly a group of fans join up and be like, hey, we're here now. And it's, it, this is actually probably going to be pretty wholesome. I did ask for a safer work. The Hololive members fair. happily obliged, taking pictures and signing autographs for their fans. As the day went on, the cafe became busier and the Hololive members attracted more attention from the other customers. Okay. But they didn't mind, as they were happy to meet new people and share their love for gaming and anime. After a fun-filled day, the Hololive members said their goodbyes and parted ways, promising to meet up again soon. As they left the cafe, they all felt grateful for their fans and for each other, knowing that their bond as a Hololive family would oh. only grow stronger oh. over time. <laughs> this became, this was a very wholesome fan fiction. And that, nothing happened in it. They just went to a cafe, met up with some fans, and then they just hung out and gave autographs and stuff like that. Nothing happened, but it was very wholesome at the very least. And they're all very happy with their Hololive, Hololive family with each other. That's kind of nice. That was pretty tame. That was pretty tame. So I would like to ask it again, create a hollow life fan fiction and see if it spits out something different and what comes out of it. I'm not going to say safe for work this time. So I wonder if it'll do the thing. Oh, okay. Okay. So this time I asked it, it just spit it out regardless. So I guess it can do fan fiction, but sometimes it'll say, no, I can't do fan fiction. I saw the word goblins in there and I don't know why it could be referring to actual goblins or the goblins of the internet. We were, we are going to see, and it's going to be fucking weird. I can imagine. Okay. Oh my God. This thing's writing a whole story. Oh my God. It's still going. This is several paragraphs long. Good Lord. All right. Let's see what chat GPT has to offer in this hollow life fan fiction. Sure. Here's a hollow life fan fiction for you. Title, Hololive, The Virtual Adventure. The Virtual Adventure. The Hololive members found themselves transported to a strange and magical oh, world. Oh, fuck, boy. We're in an isekai. Let's go. They were no longer sitting in their respective rooms, streaming to their fans. They were now in a lush, green forest with towering trees and singing birds. Interesting. As they looked around. Okay. So, I am actually fairly impressed that just by asking to make a Hololive anything that it, it doesn't it it knows that they're streamers that they're probably some sort of anime something or other because it did absolutely put them into an isekai which is very like anime it's like not just a, like japanese anime thing or light novel thing but it's definitely associated with that the most so i wonder if it's tying those two things together because it's a japanese company i'm not sure as they looked around they noticed that they had changed they were now dressed in medieval clothing oh. and had weapons in their hands. And Noel is It was as if they had been the transported now. back in time. <laughs> She's in her Suddenly, zone. Suddenly, they heard a loud noise coming from behind a nearby bush. They cautiously approached it, weapons at the ready. As they peeked through the leaves, they saw a group of goblins huddled together, chattering and laughing. Without hesitation, the hollow Wait. members charged and- <laughs> Wait, why, why without hesitation? They're, they're, wait, <laughs> they're not group of murderers. It's just a goblin. It's a group of goblins huddled together, chattering and laughing. That doesn't necessarily connotate like bad or evil. They're just there. They're hanging out without hesitation. The Hollow Live members jumped into battle. Oh my god! Without hesitation, the Hollow Live <laughs> members charged into battle. They fought fiercely against the goblins, using their weapons and magic to defeat them. I think I feel like we skipped the a couple steps. The goblins fought back with their own weapons, but they were no match for the Hololiv members' skill Hololive? and determination. Okay. After the battle, the Hololiv members regrouped and assessed their situation. Oh god. They realized god, that they were trapped gone. in this world and that the only well, way to escape now. was to complete a series of quests given to them by a mysterious old wizard. <laughs> the chat gpt is taking liberties it's it's skipping it's skipping vital information i feel like and it's just being like oh yeah they now they know for sure that they have to leave this to be able to leave this world they have to solve mysteries from an old wizard like the, the wizard never even showed up they just know they have to solve the mysteries they okay. realized that they were trapped in <laughs> this know. world and that the only way to escape was to complete a Knock series of quests given filter. to them by a mysterious old wizard 
As they journeyed through the forest and completed the quests, they encountered various creatures, including trolls, dragons, trolls. and even a friendly unicorn. Don't just wait, what? They used their skills and teamwork to overcome each obstacle. Okay, so we got we got the information that they got trolls. They just random cre various creatures and they named trolls? Extremely dangerous, regenerative abilities, dragons, one of the strongest mythical creatures there are, <laughs> and a friendly unicorn. It's just a unicorn. I don't know. It's friendly, I guess. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going through the whole fucking hero's uh, journey in a matter of a paragraph. They went on an adventure and they used their skills. That's it. Let's go. They used their skills <laughs> and teamwork to overcome each obstacle and move closer to their goal. As you do? Throughout their adventure, the Hololive members grew closer as friends and colleagues. They Not shared stories, friends, just laughed, colleagues. and cheered each other on during battles. They even discovered new talents sharing... and abilities. I don't know if you should be sharing stories during battle. <laughs> Also, they're laughing and cheering during battle. That's kind of fucked. They started in this world just killing goblins just for no reason. Goblins that were just chilling out. And now during battles, they're just like having a good time and laughing. That's weird. They even discovered new talents and abilities that they never knew they had. Finally, after completing the final quest, the old wizard appeared before them and congratulated them on their success. There was no quest. Okay, so he set up... I say he, but the, the, the AI set up a story about them needing to solve a mysterious quest from an old wizard. But the first time the wizard actually shows up, he the wizard says they've completed the quest, but we are never, we're not told what the quest was. <laughs> no, there, unless it comes in the last paragraph, there has been no mention of what the quest actually was. But that's fine. That's okay. Finally, after completing the final quest, the, final the old quest. wizard There's appeared before them and congratulated them on their success. I'll, I, I reached a limit. I guess I'll read the final. I, I'll read the final bit of it. Uh, he transported them back to their world, where they returned to their usual activities, streaming and entertaining their fans. But they never forgot about their virtual adventures. They still talk about it from time to time, reminiscing about the battles they fought and the friends they made. They knew. That they would always be a team, no matter where their adventures took them. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think the AI wanted to write about Hololive. I think the AI wanted to write about a D&D-esque fantasy isekai. And then they, they, they just shoved in the Hololive girls right at the beginning and right at the end, basically. The, 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 the fan fiction had nothing to do with anything <laughs> with Hololive. It's just they were all isekai'd. That was it. <laughs> I didn't give it a prompt being like, write a fantasy fan fiction about the Hololive girls being isekai. It just did that on its own. I'm so curious about why it thinks, uh, like, specifically a fan, this fan, does that happen a lot in fan fiction? Is it taking from different fan fictions and being like, mm, yes, isekai. Let's do this. Let's let's throw these girls into an isekai. This was fucking wild, and I'm super glad I did this. Everybody, that was Chat GPT creates Hollow Live fan fiction. What I don't know if that's gonna be the name of the video, but it's gonna be like AI creates Hollow Live fan fiction or reacting to AI written fan fiction of Hollow something like that. I don't know for sure. But regardless, this was some weird stuff. I might come back to this in the future. Maybe we'll even do like a live stream or something about that. I don't know yet. But if, I, if I'm just doing some videos, go into the comments down below and give me some prompts. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give uh, GPT, this AI generator, some prompts. And I also, maybe I'll find a text-to-speech that won't make me pay. I don't know how to end this. Thank you guys for watching. Give me those prompts down below, anything you want me to ask. It doesn't have to be fan fiction in general. It could, it could be literally anything. Uh, but we could also go back to fan fiction. We'll see. But uh, thank you for watching, thank you for stopping by, thank you for commenting, and other than that, thank you for coming to the party.